Recently, I became aware of the idea being taught that Allah is the same God as the God of the Old Testament, that Allah is Jehovah. I do know of the similarities between Islam and SDA, such as temperance, etc. However, this teaching seems uncomfortable. Can someone shed light on this issue and direct towards the truth? You know what the Reformers taught? The Reformers taught that Catholicism is the Antichrist. They taught that he sits in the temple of God pretending to be God. In other words, he puts on a cloak of Christianity when he is in reality the enemy of Christ. He negates him at every possible turn. He wants to get rid of Christ as mediator. He places other bodies, saints, Mary, church, hierarchy, whatever, in Christ's place. The Bible says, he who says that he didn't come in the flesh is antichrist. Catholicism teaches that Christ did not come all the way down. He didn't come all the way down because Mary was immaculate, he didn't come all the way down. And so he is up there somewhere and needs intermediaries to get to him. So the teaching is no one comes to the Father except through Christ, but no one comes to Christ except through Mary. So there's always an intermediary, so Catholicism fits that bill. But they also taught that Islam is the open antagonist towards Christianity. The Quran teaches that Jesus never died on the cross. The Quran teaches that Jesus by a miracle was spared the indignity of the cross and was taken to heaven without death, without seeing death. That removes the atonement. And so Islam denies the atonement of Jesus Christ. Islam also denies the deity of Jesus Christ because they say that that is polytheism. But Christ is the Godhood made accessible to its creation. If you have seen him, you have seen the Father. And so he is the Son, S O N. <laughs> of the Godhood and we can identify through Christ and come to God which the Bible calls Father through Christ. So if Islam does not denies the Godhood of Christ, denies the death, denies the atonement and says that God has no son then is it the same God as the Bible, yes or no? No. He's not the same God of the Bible, even if he tells you not to eat pork. He's not the same God of the Bible. Does that mean we must be vindictive towards Islam as an enemy of Christ? No. But we must be straightforward when it comes to rebuking a false doctrine concerning Christ. And you can look it up in the spirit of prophecy where it says Mohammedism has its converts but they deny the divinity of Jesus Christ. If this doctrine is not countered by the people of God, we are not doing our duty. So there are elements of contact between Islam but we're not serving the same God. And anybody who does evangelism with the people of Islam will have to realize that they, just like anyone else out there that teaches salvation by works, will have to be called out of that system 
to the true God who teaches salvation by grace. I go further, but I don't want to go there today, but I'll just leave a thought with you. If the one is a clandestine, behind-the-scenes enemy of Christ, and the other one is an open antagonist to Christ, don't they have the same boss? Leave it at that.